Hello there, everybody. Welcome to my latest episode of Space Engineers. And holding true to the uh, basis of this series, I'm going to be going about my everyday business in Space Engineers. Currently, I am working on a station whose purpose is going to be to refine and process any incoming ore from the surrounding asteroids and also act as a hub so that I have the capacity to either import or export any kind of ore that I receive from my mining operations or trade. Um, so basically, I'm going to outline the basic plan for you here. I'm going to be building up a, a wall around all the way this. This is all going to be enclosed. Um, it's going to be nice and windowed. There might be a second story up here just to kind of you know use the space that this refinery is taking up. The main entrance is going to be down here. That's the biggest opening. There's another decent-sized opening up there. I'm not really going to concern myself with that too much. Um, my main efforts are going to be in servicing this entrance here. This can be just like a, a little emergency exit or something of that nature. So to accompany, to uh, you know, uh, make use of this station as a little uh, staging area for the ore, I have a large cargo container here. I'm going to be hooking that right into this refinery here, and of course that refinery is hooked right up to this assembler. Now, since um, the opening is kind of way out here, I'm going to be making a little walkway, and it's going to have conveyors or conveyor tubes, and it's going to have a collecting point, um, it's going to have a collector, or maybe also have a... Um, God, what's the what's the name of the box? The collector, the connector, or a collector. It's kind of hard to say together. They sound a lot alike, but it's going to have either one or both of those things. Probably both, and that will be that will take the ore or any other material that it has, and they'll put it directly into that large cargo container, and that will just be the mass storage of this little asteroid station. And from there, we can you know, choose to refine it and assemble goods out of it and ship it off. It's not going to be a big station, not, not anything overly ambitious. It will probably take an episode or two because, you know, I try to keep my episodes in like the 15, 20 minute range, so it's not going to happen right away. But, yeah, it's happening, and I have Peyty, he's out there working on the mining ship, though. He's, um, it was actually in the last real episode I had of when I was trying to find cobalt. I think I had mentioned that I wanted bigger drills, so he's actually out there um, putting bigger drills on there. Because, I mean, bigger is always better. If people say that size doesn't matter, slap them in the face and say, screw you, size definitely matters. But, I mean, I don't really want to bore you with the whole construction process. But at the same time... It might be kind of interesting to see how I'm going to be going about this. So, I'm kind of torn on that. If you guys have an opinion, leave it in the comments. And then for future episodes, I can go one way or the other. But for right now, I'm actually going to pause it because I'm still kind of pondering this idea in my head and how I'm going to go about doing it. So when I have an idea and I kind of have some blocks placed, I will bring the video back and kind of explain in a little bit more detail what my plan is for the station. So, I will see you then. God, I, I, I've only just begun, but I just gotta say, I really, really cannot wait for the Blocks Within Blocks feature. I've been playing a lot of um, Medieval Engineers, and I absolutely love that feature. It's just incredible. I've been spoiled with it, and now I don't really want to live without it. But I'll make do. So, don't you worry. <laughs> Alright, so I made a little bit of progress on this little station. Uh, so far I've got some windows all the way around this part. I, since they don't have the block within block in Space Engineers yet, I had to give it a little bit of extra space. I mean, I'm okay with that. It gets you a little walkway to go all the way around. It's whatever, right? Uh, I've got some stairs. I decided I am, in fact, going to put on a second story here. I'm not really sure what I'm going to put up there. Maybe some personal storage for people. Maybe a couple beds. I think I have a bed block. Oh yeah, I've got a, all sorts of beds. I'll, I'll probably make a little uh, little housing room up here, I'm guessing. It's kind of the plan I have right now. But the meat and potatoes of this thing is out here on this little boom, I guess you could call it. I'm not quite sure on the design yet. Again, 
Um, always appreciate uh, viewer input. If you have any ideas, just let me know. I'm more than happy to incorporate your ideas in here. But I've got a connector here, here, and here. I might add another one in there, but I don't want to crowd it too much. These two blocks here are conveyors, and then I've got two collectors. There's no gravity out all the way out here. So if someone just ejects it, it, the force of the ejection will just carry it into these collectors. So the gravity is nothing to worry about here. There's several places to dock. And then off of these conveyors, I was going to run a tube all the way back into this large cargo container. And this, as I mentioned earlier, this is where all of the goodies are going to be stored. It's going to be our loot bag. It's going to be great. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with all of this. I might make it a little, nice little walkway, like put um, like some kind of metal grate, like metal panels, metal grates down just to make it kind of nice. And maybe have this a little bit of an observation deck. Um, another thing I'm kind of thinking of is making a control room out here. Nothing big, but with a couple buttons. Um, to control various different things that if, if I decide to add them. I'm sure it'll just grow as time goes on. So better to add stuff in now. Like, have the capacity to add stuff later rather than having to remodel everything and to be a pain in the ass, you know? So probably have some kind of button panel out here. Um, I'm going to make use of those LCD panels. This is just going to be a little observation deck on the top. I just decided... Uh, it's not going to be big, it's going to be quite narrow. Might expand it out a little bit back here. But overall, it's just going to be very narrow. And just straight to the point, no nonsense. Get the resources into the hub and processed. That's it. That's the purpose of the station. So, yeah, that's my progress so far. I've got plenty of potential time left in this video, so I'm going to keep on working. <laughs> if I had planned ahead, I would have actually done this before before I started recording, but that's okay. This way I can kind of, you know, update you. Like, okay, now this is where I'm at. Now this is where I'm at. It's, it works out. Anyway, I'm going to get back to work. <laughs> Alright, so now the, the process has just been getting the raw materials that I need and bringing them over here. Because until I get this going, I'm going to have to just keep moving it over by hand because I have no way to dock up directly to where I'm producing materials at the moment. So that's a little obnoxious, but hey, once I get this system in place, it'll be nice. Welding, welding, welding. Music to my ears. I might actually have everything I need. I just saw the uh, conveyor tubes lights light up, so that's always nice to see. Come along over here. He needs GPS coordinates to the base. Uh, if you try and keep base, copy to clipboard. Paste. Yeah, if you ever need to share GPS coordinates with someone, all you gotta do is go to GPS, click on whatever coordinates you want to move over to give them, hit copy to clipboard, bring up chat, hit control V to paste it in. Now to create a, um, a GPS coordinate, you can either type it in using this format, or you just go new from current position, and then that is my current position right here. You can rename it and add it whatever description you want. That's exactly how that works. So, in case you're wondering, the more you know. All right, so with that last little touch, these are actually working. They are now officially functional. Da 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 da. Alright, so I got all of that welded in. I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do next here. I don't... One of the things I do want to do eventually, but not necessarily right now, is I want to put armor just to protect this tube. Just armor it up all the way down, just in case someone bumps it. Just to protect the infrastructure. I mean, it's not necessarily that everyone, anyone's going to really hit it too hard. I mean... Once I get some defenses up, any randoms that try to get in here will get destroyed. And I don't have to worry about meteors in here, so that's a very nice thing. God, I keep getting out of the gravity well. But no, the next thing I'm going to do is I have these, um... Dang it, grate. That's what I have to type in. These grated floors. I'm not really sure the difference between the appearance of the two. But I guess that I can find out right now, can't I? That's what that one looks like. That was a 
So this one's more industrial, and this one's more old and rusty. Oh, gotta answer him really quick. What drills did he use? I'm really curious. I have a lot of different drills on my server. Yeah, I'll show you. G menu. Drill. Oh, well, it's a hand drill. Tunnel board drill, the tiny drill, that drill, so many drills. So many different things to do to destroy ore. It's not a good day to be ore. But, yeah. I'm actually going to produce some more girders and bulletproof glass. The big ones, like you can see on the front of some mole machine and a comic. Oh, I think I know this one he's talking about. He's probably using this one here. <laughs> These things are pretty big. I can actually show you right now. Yeah, look at the size of those things. That's what it looks like he has on there. <laughs> that is awesome. That is really big compared to the drills that we have on there now, which are... Which drills is he using? I think he's using this drill. It's a lot bigger. So, people keep messaging me on Steam. God, I, I really need to just uh, set myself to appear offline. That would solve all my problems. Uh, da, da, da. I'm totally gonna do that. Um, I'm in the Steam overlay right now. Don't mind me, just doing my thing. There, I'm now officially offline. Oh, he's gotta go. Okay. Well, he did some important work getting that mining ship fixed up to drill a lot faster is going to be really nice. So, that's okay. Anywho. Oh, shoot. What was I going to do? That's right. I was going to do the grates, but I kind of want to lay down the floor, like the the windows first, and see how it behaves. It will probably mess it up. Be my guess. Because it's it hates us. Yeah, so the, the blocks within blocks mess with that. That's really quite unfortunate. So, you know what? I'm really not going to be able to use this unless this was three wide and then I can have this graded floor down the center and just have the bland, bland armor on the sides. But I can't really do that. I could replace it with some interior blocks or some other kind of colored block, like style block. But I'm just going to leave it for now and just forget about it. I do really want this set up. However, I also do need an entrance. There's a lot of stuff I still need to do with this. There's so much stuff to do. I'm just one man. What can one man do? I just gotta load up on all that shit. That's what one man can do. Window. Inverse. I also need... Where's that one by one slope? This window here. <sighs> this should be oriented the right way. Yeah, that's good. If you have it the wrong way, like you can't see through this. And that's what I want. I want to be able to see out if you're inside, and but you can't see in. So, yep, that's the way the cookie crumbles right now. Got all that shit in. Got that. That looks like it's perfect, actually. I haven't decided where I'm going to put the door to this yet. I might actually put it on the second story. You know what? I, th I kind of like that idea. I kind of like that idea. I'm going to do that. Screw it. So ah! Gravity! Damn you! Okay, whatever. Uh, bound, bound. I need more of these sloped windows here. Is that still good? Is that still Gucci? It is. It is Gucci. It me. Bam. Bam. So now, all of these windows have at least been placed. That's okay. Now, looking back, I might have been able to use some of the taller windows. Like the 1 by 2 or something, I don't know. But whatever, I kind of like the look of this. The regular, you know, regular beams, I guess you can call them. So, ah! All in all, it's, it's shaping up to be pretty good. Unfortunately, I am going to have to go soon. Um, I have a lot of work to do again. And I actually have decided more of what I'm going to do. 
So this this second story is going to house the entrance for personnel. It's going to be on this side, away from the main traffic and everything, so that you don't get splattered if a transport is coming in. So you'll enter right about this level here, and this entire floor space, all the way out to... Hello there, welder ship. All the way out to here is going to be living quarters, and it's going to be some personal storage where people can place a cargo container and have it set so that only they can access it. That way, you know, we just have a, a little private locker, if you will. That's the plan for that. In terms of uh, defenses, I don't have any plans for that yet. I'll probably just scatter in a couple interior turrets here. Um, there's definitely space for a Gatling turret here and on the opposite side. And that's really all the defense I think this is going to need. It is hidden inside of this asteroid. So... I'm not too concerned about defense at this point, and it's certainly I don't need any Gatling turrets for the meteors because they don't come from any direction that they could possibly get in here. So just a few odd, uh, couple Gatling turrets and a few interior turrets to keep it secure, I think will be just fine. I'm really excited. I really don't build that many stations. I always build ships. It seems like. But, yes, it looks great. If you guys have any ideas, anything you want to add, feel free to let me know in the comments or message me on Steam. Or, you can even add me on Steam and you can become a part of this wonderful project that we have going on. Don't be shy. I don't bite that often. Ricochet does, occasionally. So you might want to watch out for him if he's on. <laughs> but, yeah. Don't forget to check out my... Um, Facebook page. I will link that in the description as well. I also have a Twitter that's linked up to that, and sometimes I post stuff, but normally like when I post something in the Facebook group, it just goes right to the Twitter. But, until next time, this is Ryan from Strombo the Game, signing off. Thank you all for watching.